Hey everyone, in this session I am going to discuss about things you should know before installing a Power BI Gateway. We all know that to refresh a data from our on-premise data sources to Power BI service, we always need a data gateway. Now, before we installing or proceeding for the Power BI data gateway, we should consider few things in our mind. So which are those few things? Let me explain you. Before we install, we should know about minimum hardware and software requirement of our system. Apart from that, we need to consider few points which Microsoft recommended. So now let's go it started. So now let me start with minimum software or hardware requirement before we installing a data gateway. First thing, if your gateway release is August 2019 or earlier, you need .NET Framework 4.6 installed in your machine. Suppose if your gateway release is September 2019 and later then you need .NET Framework 4.7.2 installed on your machine. Third thing that we need to consider here is minimum requirement for a gateway installation is a 64-bit version of Windows 8 or a 64-bit of Windows Server 2012 R2. And here is one of the reference of Microsoft document where this information is available. Now let me talk about the recommended environment to install a data gateway. So this was the minimum requirement that we must need to have and these are the recommended thing. It would be great if we have this configuration in our system. An 8 core CPU, 8 GB of memory, or a 64 bit version of Windows Server 2012 i2 or later, SSD for spooling. So these are the recommended things by Microsoft. Now, before we get started, we need to consider few points in our mind to install a gateway. First, we cannot install a gateway on a domain controller machine. The machine which is used as a domain controller gateway installation is not allowed on that. Second thing, gateway aren't support server core installation. Third, the user installing a gateway must be the admin of a gateway. Fourth consideration, we need to install a gateway on a machine which never fall asleep, which means that we cannot install a gateway on a laptop or a computer which might be turned off asleep or disconnected from a computer. Now, fifth point, suppose you are planning to use Windows authentication, make sure that you install a gateway on a computer that's a member of same AD environment as the data source. So this is also a very important point. Let's say for an example, you are using SQL Server as data source and you have dev slash sp farm as your username, which means that your computer or your, your machine should also be part of the same AD environment that is dev slash sp farm. So this is the meaning of that. Sixth consideration, if you are using wireless network, your gateway performance might be suffer. Seventh, if you install other application on a gateway machine, this may degrade the gateway performance. Meaning, suppose you are installing a gateway on one of your Windows, Windows 2012 i2 server and with that you have installed some other applications like Visual Studio or uh, Adobe Photoshop, anything. So this may decrease your gateway performance. So if you have installed any other applications, make sure you monitor the gateway to check if there is any resource contention or not. And at last, 8th point, we can install two gateway on a single computer, one with a standard mode and one with a personal mode. We cannot install two gateway with the same mode in a single machine. So these are the 8 consideration point that we need to consider before we are proceeding to install a gateway. These are very important thing before we proceeding for the gateway installation. Uh, this is clear for you now. In my next session, I am going to talk about how we can install a Power BI data gateway with standard mode over there. With that, I am going to explain what is the basic difference between standard mode and personal mode data gateway. So stay connected with me for my next sessions. One more thing I want to introduce here today is that I have launched my podcast channel on anchor.fm. So you can listen my different podcast related power platform on Spotify. So stay connected with me. Thank you so much. Hope this is clear for you now. 
If you have any question related to this concept, you can add your comments in the comment section or you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification from my WhatsApp channel. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye. Now, hope this is